Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Nigerians. Good evening, the world. This is Maz Ezoke speaking. Uh, Maz Ezoke is speaking live this evening. It is more and nothing less than the criminality happening once more in Nigeria here. So what is happening is heartbreaking, as many of you would know. Um, the things happening is really, really indeed heartbreaking. I hope some of you would understand what I mean. Now we have, um, I, I mean, I did do a video the other day where we saw the uh, woman, former director of NDDC being accused. Now what they've done today is that police have laid siege in her house. How can such be happening in a nation where you think there are people who are in charge or who to, ought to be in charge or who ought to know what is happening. It leaves one to begin to ask this question, do we have a presidency? Is anyone in charge of what's happening actually? What sort of you know criminality and nonsense is happening in this contraption? How can this be happening? Okay, the River State Governor, to the point that the River State Governor had to intervene to rescue the former managing director of NDD, uh, Niger Delta Development Commission, uh, Mrs. Joy uh, Nunia, from her house after armed policemen invaded and laid siege in her house. Now, this happened this morning because Wike arrived her residency about 10 o'clock and she had to explain what actually happened. You know, I think this explanation is better done by her. Let me try and find out the video of, you know, where she basically explained what happened. Okay, um, I found the video now. Let me play you that video so that you understand what has happened and why I think this is wrong, and it is wrong in many, in you know, in so many ramifications. Because, I mean, this 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 is not us. This is not the way things ought to be. Listen to her. In about four o'clock, I hear people was around, were around my gate. I made some calls. I tried to reach the government. Now, four o'clock a.m. That is four in the morning. That she had noise. That people. We are around her house, okay? For in the morning, that is nothing but a criminal enterprise. And you will think this is basically people coming to kidnap you if you are if you, if you are her. Because he had told me that if I saw any strange movements, I should alert him since he issued the statement. Now, and again, you see, I, I, I can't like Wicca enough, you know, hate him or like him. There is one thing we need to, you know, distinct, distinction we need to make here. This woman in question is in the APC. It's in the ruling party. Wike is in the opposition. But now the issue at stake, it's about the Niger Delta. What am I trying to say? We must live above board. We must be a people that look out for each other. Political parties, obviously, means absolutely nothing. You know, it's just a vehicle. But here we have a woman who is in the APC and Wike, who is in the PDP, but Wike had to come for her rescue. Listen more. So I tried to reach him, the phones were off. And then, so I called some people, they said they might not be real policemen, so I should stay. They said they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They said no warrant of arrest. No. Is this not a criminal enterprise? You came to take someone away, yet you do not have warrant of arrest. How can you come to arrest someone without warrant of arrest? Yet, at the same time, in her own in her own statement, they tried to break down her doors, her security doors. Listen. So I left it about six o'clock. They broke the gate. And later, Senator Magnus Abbe now called me that he had reached the commissioner of police who said he didn't know anything about it. So... Commissioner of police says they don't know anything about it. Question thereof is, if you don't know who these people are, 
what were they doing there? That is a question that needs to be answered. The CP called me, I sent him my address, he came. They told me the CP was downstairs. The CP wasn't down, but I think it's the deputy commissioner of police. So I opened the door, they wanted to grab me. I now pushed back the door and locked it and went upstairs, got through to my governor. They broke, they tried to break the back door. It's a security door. So they kept hitting me for over one hour and they couldn't get access. So my governor came, asked them for the warrant of arrest. And why couldn't they invite me to the police that I would have come instead of going to take a woman like a criminal? So the governor took me in his car. I'm here. I'm refugee in the government house. That's all. I was supposed to be going today to Abuja to make my submission between before the house of um so basically people the only reason why this woman was about to be kidnapped this morning was because she was meant to be in abuja she was meant to catch an early flight to abuja from potako this morning to go make presentations as to the things she said last week in the house of assembly and here those who do not want her voice to be heard are now those trying to shut her down. I think, you know, if we have any atom of, um, you know, anything left with this, uh, within this nation, this woman must be protected and must be protected because it is time for the Niger Delta people to stand up because it's, it's all about you. It is all about your wealth. Your wealth is being filtered away by thieves by rogues, by looters, and yet someone is about to speak up, and this is all you can get. Representatives, the committee, I'm sure it's about that. Meanwhile, the, the, the man that harassed me is at home. The man who stole the money is at home. The man who stole government files is at home. The man who took money is at home. The man who said I should go and take an oath is at home. Honestly, is Nigeria, not, is Nigeria not a criminal enterprise? How come that this, you know, we will just be doing things the wrong way? How come someone who you are being accused of telling you to take a note, telling you to do X, Y, Z, is comfortably sitting somewhere at home and you are the one that is bearing the brunt? It is heartbreaking. Now, look at what played out here as Wike arrived. Let us watch and see what played out here. This is Wike arriving, basically, when he arrived to take the woman away. See that, yeah? <laughs> Wike, Wike can be funny. Look at the way he just tell them, oh, yeah, all of you leave. Leave, can you now leave? Because he's asking them, who sent you? You can see these men with big tummies, with big fatty tummies. None of them could explain how and why they came to arrest this woman just to prevent her from going into, flying into Abuja. Remember when the DSS invaded uh, the National Assembly in Abuja and under the leadership of Professor Yemir Sibanjo, Yemi Sibajo immediately fired Mamandaura, who is the head of DSS. Anything short of the same treatment is not acceptable. But here you have a president who virtually probably has ear infections that he doesn't hear. And he cannot, when he hears, probably he could not translate into his brain or he cannot understand what is being said. This is an illegal siege. That the only thing, only justice here is for you to sack whoever that was in charge of that operation. There is no two ways about it. What kind of what kind of what kind of are you? You know, Wike is busy here arguing with them that uh, you know what kind of society. You can see, oh Jesus Christ, you can see that the woman is actually taking her own video from inside her own bedroom because that is it. 
she's taking her own video from her own bedroom where she's hiding and they are there and you can see that fat man saying oh we invited her now the woman said if you invited her and she refused not to come what do you do the due process is when police invite you you refuse to honor them what they will do they will go and get a warrant to come and arrest you and bring you to the station by force but here is the woman saying you didn't invite me because if you did i will gladly come on my own probably she will tell the governor that she is coming but here she is you did not invite her yeah so suddenly obviously um the governor now took the woman away and they all drove away and she now is hostage in governor's lodge because she can no longer be in her own house you can see she had deserted her house this is her house and you ask yourself this is nothing but you can see her from her window video look at look at the faces of those wiki is escorting them now look at their faces Okay, this is their faces, and Wike is here escorting them. This is these people. People, it is indeed disheartening to know and to note that this is happening in 21st century. That this level of barbarism is happening in 21st century. Really, really disheartening to know. I can't say this enough to know that this is happening in 24th century. 24th century. This level of barbarism is happening. Yeah? This level of barbarism is happening. You get once more. Let me play that from my own video here. Not no longer online because I think it was frozen for a while. Look at so many people hanging around. So many people hanging around just to arrest one, just to affect an illegal arrest of one person. An illegal arrest of one person. Jesus, God have mercy. You know what an animal kingdom. What an animal kingdom where such illegalities is happening. What an animal kingdom. You know, many of us are basically dumbfounded because Nigeria is, is, is an unbelievable, it's, honestly, it's an unbelievable sight to note that something like this is happening and you ought to have a president who ought to be in charge Imagine if this was to be, uh, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Osibanjo. Osibanjo would have fired whoever was in charge. Whoever led this operation should not be in the office by tomorrow morning because that is the only thing. Whoever led this operation should not be in the office tomorrow morning. So, in case if you want to make any contribution, and in case maybe if you're from Potakot or you are in Potakot, you can. If you want to ring, if you want to have a discussion, if you want to make any contributions, please, can you um, call this number on your screen, WhatsApp only? It's going to be the number to make the contribution. I don't want to make this broadcast so long, so it's going to be less than 30 minutes, okay? So you can see, you can see it. This is happening in Nigeria, and you're supposed to have a government. You are supposed to have a government. And this is a government where the lives of its citizens amounts to nothing. The same, I mean, if not for Osibajo in 2017, when um, Buhari was sick in London, that he used the opportunity to fire under Bukora Saraki when the DSS invaded the National Assembly. And that's what a president should do. A president should get angry sometimes and do the right thing and fire any individual that is found wanting. But here you have a man 
that we don't, most times, you know, he, they said he went to United Kingdom to treat ear problem. And, you know, we need to probably ask the, 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 the government of the United Kingdom or the doctors in the United Kingdom to see if actually they treated that ear infection because it appears that ear infection was not properly treated. Yeah, look at Potakot again. Men are standing. <laughs> Why did they have to, you know, Wiki had to come to rescue this woman? Shame on you, Nigerian police force. Shame on you, everybody. Shame on you. Shame on the Nigerian government. Shame on the Nigerian police force. Really shame. Really shame. Shame on you that this is what you have reduced your services to. You have reduced your services to such nonsense. Well, again, that's that's what it that's what's happening now. And um, we don't know if the woman is going to Abuja tomorrow uh, or if she's still going to be under hiding, if she's still hiding in, um, uh, uh, in, in, in rivers. If not, we don't know. And this is honestly a very sad evening. On that note, I would be concluding this and I'll ask you, please keep a date with me, seven o'clock this, uh, this evening. I will be having... Uh, Lotanna's mom, join me. If you have questions you want to ask her, if you want to be part of this conversation, please do let me know. You can send me an email at maze, is okay, m, you know, that's a double a, uh, at uh, gmail.com, maze is okay at gmail.com. Uh, the woman is going to come in this evening in the studio to talk about her, her son that was killed by the SARS in Okuzo. Seven o'clock this evening, Keep a date with Mazes, okay? On that note, I will say, remain blessed.